Welcome back to the channel. I have seen many SAP projects asking for consultants or trainers who have experience with SAP Enable Now or SEN. And there are many people who don't understand what this is. So SAP Enable Now is a product from SAP that allows us to create training tutorials. So in the video today, I will give you more details about SAP Enable Now. I will also show you a live demo for one of the tutorials that were created using the SAP Enable Now. And if you stay until the end of the video, I will show you where you can find a free public library, including a lot of training tutorials created by SCEP using SAP Enable Now that covers most of the processes included in SCEP is for HANA. SAP Enable Now is a product from SCEP that is separate from SCEP is for HANA. So it has a separate license and it allows us to create training manuals or training tutorials for anything that we have in SAP s hana So for example, here we have this training module that's called setting a credit limit and we have the objective of the module. So we have learn how to maintain credit profile information. All of this is customizable. So if you are the consultant and if you have the license to SAP enable now, you can set the title, the objective and any other text you want to create here. And then we have also different options available. So we can either start the tutorial and this will open SAP Fury as if we are actually doing the process. And I will show you this now. Or we can click on open PDF document and then SAP will download a PDF document that has all the steps of the process. So if I click on open, on open PDF document first, this will open another tab with the PDF document. As you see, it has print screens and a description very nice that can be used as a training manual. So you see here it's saying, click on this, open app, select the manage create account style. All of this text is automatically generated while we are recording the training tutorial. And we can of course change any text we want. So now let's go back to the main screen and go to start tutorial. And then I will explain more details. So here, once you click, it will open this. Would you like to know more about how a credit controller sets a credit limit? This text is something that we set as a consultant creating the training tutorial, we set all of this text on our own. And this works in a similar way to the batch input recording if you are someone who used LSMW before. So the concept is after you open the SAP Enable Now editing application, you can start recording the screen and then go to SAP Fury or SAP GUI and start performing the transaction and SAP will capture all the steps you do with the text that's automatically created to match what you are doing. So for example, once you click on a tile like this, it will say, click on manage credit account, for example. So after this, we can go to each step and edit the text as needed. We can add extra details, instructions, or we can fix any text that's not written in the right way. All of this can be done as when the consultants are creating the training tutorials. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the SAP Enable Now creation application now because I don't have the license, but I have used it before in one of the projects for one year. This is why I know how it works. It's very simple. So you just open, you start doing the transaction and SAP will capture or SAP Enable now will capture all the steps you do and then you edit the text. So now after it's done, it looks like this. So you have the text here, then you can click on the arrow and it will tell you that you have to click here. Once you click, it will take you to the second screen. So it's saying you have to insert this value. This again, this is a screen recording. So if I try to insert any other value or if I try to click anywhere else, it will not work. So it's not a real system. It doesn't have any connection to your actual SAP system. It is only a screen recording. So you have to follow the steps exactly as is. So here I have to insert 171000011. Otherwise, SAP will not proceed. If I try another value like 12 or 13 for another customer, it will not work. So this is not a real system, it's only a screen recording. If you are not able to pass any step following the transactions, you can easily click on this arrow here and SAP will move to the next step. So it automatically filled this field and then once I click again, it will do this, the following transaction and so on. So I don't have to actually do things myself. There is another mode available in SAP Enable now called exercise mode, if I remember correctly. In this mode, no one can, these errors are not available and the user has to actually perform the step himself or herself. So this way he, learn, he learns how to use the system correctly. Now, if I click here, it will take me to the second screen. So all of this text is editable. All of these uh, references are editable. So we can 
add ones, add a, like a, a highlight here in the editing uh, application as we want and we can also edit all of the text. So now you get the idea. So you just, you can scroll and go through the training module. As you see, this is very nice and organized. It really gives you the information needed to perform any transaction in the shortest time possible. So you don't have to worry about uh, the different details in the screen. And it's definitely is better than having a Word or a PowerPoint document. So it's very interactive as you see. And this is the actual Fury screen that you will have in real life. So this also, this way you are used to how the system works. So you keep going through all of these. And then after you are done, it will give you this message. You have successfully set a credit limit. This concludes the interactive tutorial. This text is also editable. So we can have other text here saying, giving more details about the process if needed. After we are done with the training module, we can get back to the main screen by clicking on this icon here. This can be a little complicated at first. So you get stuck in the window. You don't know how to go back. To do this, you have to click on this X icon here. You can also click on this help to see more details about how the SAP Enable Now module works. So it will give you details on how to navigate and so on. Now let's go back and click on the X to go back to the main screen. So now we are back to the credit management, to the credit management folder for in the SAP Enable Now training library. As promised, I told you that I will show you a full library of training content that's created for using SAP Enable Now. This was this is created by SAP itself and it is publicly available to everyone. So anyone can go here. You don't even have to log in or to use an S user or to use your email. You don't have to do anything. You just open the link and it will take you to this library. So I will leave the link in the video description. You can also find it in the video here. So if I go here to the content server, so this is education.hana.ondemand.com slash education slash public. So pub slash s4 index. I will leave you the link in the description also. Once you go here, you go here this is like a treasure. So many people don't know about this library. Personally, I don't remember how I found the link in the first time. I think someone shared it on LinkedIn. I believe it was Voter. Thank you, Voter, if you see this video. So it was, this was a long time ago, like three, four years ago, if I remember correctly. But then if you go here, this is very useful. I have used it in many projects. So you have the different SCEPS for HANA versions. And uh, I really want to thank everyone in SAP who worked on this library, this is a huge effort. So if I open any of this, like 2021 on-premise, or let's go to 2023, the latest version, open this, then you have the library. Inside you have getting started tutorials, task tutorials, implementation and configuration. So there are configuration steps even. If I go to task tutorials, this is the end user part. It will show you finance, sales, manufacturing. So if I open finance, we have accounting, financial close, financial operations. Here we have credit management, collection dispute, lockbox, accounts receivable. If you open any of these, you have multiple processes inside. So inside accounts receivable, we have manage master, customer master data, create dunning notice, monitoring over and due invoices, posting incoming payments. If I open this, you see this, this is ready, this is a ready training library that is already created by SAP, including all the steps, step by step, using SAP Enable now, very useful. You can use it with your customers. You can use it yourself to learn something really on SAP S4 HANA. So for example, managing custom master data is something that changed a lot from SAP ECC. So you can use this module to learn how to manage the custom master data. This is very useful. So now you get the idea. This library is available to everyone. Check the link in the description and go and check this training manual. It's very useful. Don't forget to also check the implementation and configuration tutorials. It has some very useful steps related to the new SAP solutions. So for example, data migration, you see here, there are different steps related to data migration. I hope now you understand what is SAP Enable now, and also you have the link to check the public library of training manuals created by SAP on SAP Enable now. I have shared the link to this library many times on LinkedIn, but really nobody cares. Although if I share one training manual that's downloaded from the same library, like the ones I showed you now, so the PDFs, if I share only one of them, people get crazy about it and everyone is sharing it and it has a lot of comments and likes. This is how social media works. So if you share something that's catchy, like a PDF or an image, everyone is crazy about it. While if you share a link that includes a full library of knowledge, nobody is interested. It doesn't even get any reach. But anyway, this is how it works. So I hope that by now you understand what is SAP Enable now. 
Don't forget to leave me your comments and questions on the video below. Also, don't forget to share this video with your connections. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos. And if you would like to support the channel, you can check the channel membership program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.